What is up, guys? The new rank season has started, so I want to provide some builds for you to climb back up to master rank. I'm going to talk about every single role. So you're going to have builds for defender, all-rounder, attacker, speedster, and supports as well. In case I sound sick, that's because I am. I hope I'm standard standable, and I hope it's not too big of a deal. First, we're going to start with all-rounders, and I'm not going to recommend Zashian because Zashian is just so overpowered. It's literally cheating, so please just don't play Zashian and be nice. So we're going to have both the Shifu builds right here. First, going to have Big Blow. First hit item, always attack rate. For the second hit item, you can either go Muscle Band or Razor Claw as your second damage option. And for the last one, Energy Amplifier, Focus Band or Floatstone. All are great items. You can also still play Razor Claw with this as well and go for a lot of damage. But you can also do something like this, you know. It's totally fine. You have a lot of options on this Pokemon. Just make sure you always go attack rate. Even weakness policy is also totally fine. And for better item, always eject button, because we can do big blow into eject button. It's very, very important. We have eject button on this build. And then for emblem, six brown, four white with a tech and HP focus. So the second one, of course, with Shifu as well again, is going to be surging strikes. You're going to have a tech bait, razor claw, and then you have two different builds you can go for. You can either go for the cooldown reduction build with energy amplifier and the black brown emblems, or you go for something normal like a muscle band, focus band, or a scope lens, and then you just go for. You know, again, six brown, four white emblems as well with either attack, crit. If you go scope lens, you can also go crit. If you decide to just go, I don't know, muscle band or rapid fire scarf, you just go flat attack and HP as well. And then for better item, always full heal. It's just necessary. You need full heal to be able to get out of things. For the next one, we have a very good reliable build, which is Machamp, Dynamic Punch and Cross Shop with attack vet, razor claw and scope lens. Again, this ability can crit or this move can crit. So it's very important. We have a lot of crit rate, which means we also play crit emblems. If we have the option to just go six brown, four white, and just try to fill in crit emblems as many as you have. Otherwise, flat attack or HP is also totally fine. And for better item, we will always go eject button. Up next, we have Charizard, which I would mainly only recommend in Central Area. We go Flamethrower with Fire Blast or Flare Blitz. Both are totally fine. Muscle Band, Scope Lens, and then either Energy Amplifier. You can also go Attack Rate. You can also go Weakness Policy. Both are totally fine choices. We again also go Crit Emblems on this Pokemon because you have Scope Lens and we just want to crit. And for better item, either Eject Button or Full Heal. As both are totally fine. Up next, we have Attacker. Espeon currently the best attack in the game. By a mile, we have Psyshock, Psybeam build with Spoon, a Double Glasses, and Eject Button. Just very powerful for emblems. You also go 7 black and 6 green emblems. As soon as you get to level 4, you're going to win every single lane. Doesn't matter if you go top path or bot path. Both are totally fine. And yeah, best Pokemon when it comes to attackers right now. Next up, one of my favorite underrated Pokemon, Cramorant. With a Dive and Air Slash, very strong, powerful build. Spoon, Energy, and Buddy Barrier is what I like currently the most. You can also maybe go Choice Specs if you even want to have more damage. But I think this is very strong and very reliable build. For better item eject button, because we can unite move during our or you can eject button during our unite move, which is also very strong. And then for emblems, also seven black and six green emblems. Same for Dayfox. Fox. take a fire, flame charge, stay very strong build. Can also be played in lane if you really want to. It's gonna struggle a bit more on top and bot path, but it's totally fine for you to do that as well. It just depends who you're up against. If you're up against an Espeon, you're not going to have a good time. If you're up against the Sindays, Greninja, which can happen a lot in the solo queue, you're going to be totally fine. Spoon, Energy App, and Choice Packs is currently my favorite build. Better item eject button, and also 7 black and 6 green emblems. Glaceon is next. We have Icy Wind with Free Strike. Even though Icy Wind got nerfed, it's still a very, very powerful build and move set for you to play. Currently playing Spoon, Vice Glasses, and Energy Amplifier, which allows us later on to have a permanent Icy Wind up. And with the core reduction from this on level 30. And then for better item, always eject button. And then for these emblems, you also go 7 black. You can maybe even get some Mew or Mewtwo emblems in to make sure you get that Icy Wind permanently up in late game. Just go into a try mode and see how much core reduction you need with blue buff after level, I think it's level 10 or 11. You're on level 9. Well, it's actually level, level 9. Level 9, you get 20% core reduction. Oh no, you get right here. Level 11, you get max current reduction for this Pokemon. So go to level 11 in game, take blue buff, and then check how much current reduction you actually need to be able to keep your ice event permanently up. Next up, we have Speedstar. First, gonna have Drip Hack, Jump Kick, Dodrio. Currently the strongest Speedstar in the entire game. Attack Rate, Razor Claw, and then you can either go Energy Amplifier and Black Emblems, again for current reduction build, or you can also play Cookie and Brown and White Emblems for a bit more sustain or a bit tankier build as well. That doesn't rely too much on, you know, Quirin Reduction. Totally fine. Both are totally fine. And you can also use this build the same for Tri Attack and Agility if you want to play this instead, which is a bit of a safer option and also easier to play. And then these items are also totally fine for this build. And for better item, we always go full heal. And for this build, of course, also brown 
and white emblems. If you go for crew reduction, it's only for this build right here. Only this build is going to use black emblems. Try to take agility does not use black emblems whatsoever. Next up, we have Zorak, currently one of my favorite Pokemon. It will take a lot of skill for you to play, but it's so, so strong if you actually get the feel for it and actually learn how to play it. Paint attack with Shadow Claw, attack Veil Cookie, and then you can either go Razor Claw or Weakness Policy or Focus Spend. All of those are totally fine items. I currently play Razor Claw, but it just makes laning phase much, much easier. And for better item, always Jack Button. And then for the emblems, we go 6 brown and 4 white, of course. And for the last speeds, I might be surprised, but I think Tarn of Flame is actually quite underrated and very strong Pokemon right now. It's also very good against Espeon, Glaceon, all the evolutions. It's very powerful up against. We go Fly and Flame Charge. With the Tech Raid, Razor Claw and the last one can be also again Energy Amplifier and Black Emblems. I think it's totally fine. If you don't want to go for this, you can go like a Float Stone with Brown and White Emblems, a Focus Band, Body Barrier. Uh, all of those are totally fine items for you to play. Maybe even Weakness Policy, but I think our Talon is kind of weak. Muscle Band or Score Shield. All of those are totally fine last items. And for better item, we always go Eject Button. Next up, we have Defender. And I have to recommend Lapras already. It's such a strong Pokemon with the Water Pulse and Bubble Beam build. Super, super strong. What I played was Spoon, Special Specs, and Muscle Band. It's a very greedy build. You can also maybe go Focus Band right here. Don't have to necessarily go for the Muscle Band. You also can just do something like this as well. Don't have to go for stacking. All of those are totally fine options. And then we go, I went 6 White and 6 Green Emblems, because Crew Reduction is not too important on this Pokemon, I think. And then Better Item X Speed. And if you don't think Lapras is good, this is my match history from playing it yesterday. I played 22 games. I have a 73% win rate. You can see the damage I do in every single game. I had a 198,000 damage game, which will still be a video, of course. 122, 110,000, 136,000, 125,000. I guess Pokemon is crazy. 94, 100,000, 130,000, 116k, 92k. This was my lowest damage game. I think we just got bullied in lane a bit by something, like we got perma ganked. It was a bit difficult. Another 130,000 damage game. So you can see Lapras is absolutely insane. Next up, a good old Blastoise with Water Spout Rapid Spin. You're going to go Spoon, Special Specs, and Focus Band with the Jack button, and then also White, 6 White, and 6 Green Emblems. Very strong Pokemon still, doesn't matter what. Then we also have Slowbro, Spoon, Special Specs, with Focus Band for Skite Amnesia. I think it's a very strong build. Um, with the Jack button or X-Speed, I would recommend. Potion is alright, but I would rather have a bit more mob mobility on this Pokemon, because it has no mobility. If you play for Surf, I would just switch out some items right here. I would go for Muscle Band and an XP share as well. Surf is also very, very strong and should not be underestimated for sure. And for the last defender, of course, Trevenant. Even after the nerfs, this Pokemon is still ridiculous. Woodhammer, Horn Leech. I would not go Pain Split anymore, but Horn Leech is absolutely good now. Attack Rate, Focus Band, Cookie is a very strong build. You can also go XP share if you want a bit more supporty. If you think, I just want to stun over and over again. Going XP share is also totally fine. And then pet item, X speed. And for emblems, I went for 6 white and 4 brown. And then for the last roll, it's supporter. Comfey is a weird Pokemon, but if you feel like your team is very strong or has a chance of being good, I think Comfy is just an insanely OP Pokemon. Special Specs, XP share, Rescue Hood with Floral Healing and Magic Leaf. Metal item, I personally go for the Jack button because it just allows you not to, you know, not to die when, some, when your main target gets knocked out sometimes. It will help a lot. And there are certain scenarios where you Jack button will keep you alive. And I think it's much more important than Slow Smoke actually is. And yeah, for emblems, of course, 7 black and 6 green emblems right here. Next, we have Eldegoss. Stay very strong support. Point Puff and either Cotton Guard or Cotton Spore. Both are fine. I would just recommend going Point Puff always. It's just the stronger move right now. And you can either go Cotton Spore or Cotton Guard. And I recommend XP Share. Rapid Fire Scarf Muscle Band with X Speed. And then we either go for 7 red emblems. Or we also go for a cool reduction build with the 7 black and 6 green. Then we have Hooper, also very strong support. Hyperspace and Phantom Force. I would not recommend Trick right now. I think this is by far the best bit you can go for. XP Share, Muscle Band, and then you can either go Rapid Fire Scarf or a Focus Band. Both are totally fine items for you to go for. Battle Item, X Speed, and then also Quirin Reduction Emblems with Special Attack. And then for the last support, I don't like recommending this Pokemon because it's so overpowered and I just hate playing against it whenever I see it. But it's a very strong Pokemon, right? Knock Off and Confuse Ray is very strong. XP Share, Focus Band and Float Zone is the normal build. You can also go for an Attack Rate if you really want to. I think it's also totally okay for you to do because it's easy to stack. And then we go X Speed and then we go 6 Brown and 4 White Emblems on this Pokemon as well. I'm not sure how good Yellow Emblems are. Maybe Yellow Emblems are also fine. So yeah, this is for the list. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.